I think we're live because YouTube is telling me that I am live. So let's play some of this game. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I am Karma Jolt. This game is Secret of Mana. Uh, played the heck out of this game on the Super Nintendo, but right now I'm playing it on the Nintendo Switch through the collection of mana, which includes Final Fantasy Adventure, the prequel to this game, as well as Secret of Mana, then Trials of Mana, aka Seiken Densetsu 3, which is the sequel to this. There she is. Hey, Lexi Wolf. Thank you so much for your generosity last night, and I'm glad you're here. But what's going on, Sean R and Coco? An ice hero brine? Guess who beat Bubble Bobble? Yo, I'm proud of you. Spade the Tanuki, what's going on? Last we left off, um, I think we made it to the part where I've got to go to the upper land. Uh, we... Oh yeah, we went to the spooky temple in Pandora. Wow, I'm early, says Super Silver Edits. Hey, welcome. Glad you could catch the beginning of the stream this time. Uh, I think I need to get shot out of a cannon right now. That's that's what I'm about to do next. And before I do anything, I want to check some weapon levels here on my hero. Yeah, Gecko. Alright, he's got Javelin level 1. That's fine. Actually, that works out great. Because I want to show off... The, uh, the weapon charge glitch. I know I did it yesterday, but I happened to use it against a boss that, like, when you one-shot him, it doesn't show any damage numbers, so it's not, like, as impressive. You know what I mean? What's up, Nicholas D? I see you too. Hey, Karma. You feeling better today? Yeah, a little bit. Thank you. A lot of that is because of Lexi Wolf. But yeah, I'm doing okay. Let's go find the Cannon Travel Center. And by the way, the guy that runs this Cannon Travel Center, he has them all over the world, so he's like a business mogul. Although, to me, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, if, if his business model were, like, very successful, you would constantly see people getting shot through the sky. Like, just looking up, you'd see people flying all over the world. I'll show you what I mean. Raymond S., what's going on? Greetings all. Currently at Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. waiting on lunch. Hope everyone is having a great day. Um, okay, so why can't I go to the Upper Land? Actually, let's go back to the Water Palace. Oh, yeah, never mind. I remember what I need to do. I actually need to go to Gaia's Navel. Because I ended last episode... Uh, I went to the Water Palace, and Luca was like, the seed got stolen. They probably went to Gaia's Navel to go to that underground palace. I'm just guessing. Lexi Wolf is my idol, says Nicholas D. Yeah, for those of you who weren't here, Lexi Wolf gifted over 60 memberships yesterday. And also, Raymond S., I don't think I've ever been to a Hardee's slash Carl's Jr. But those are synonymous, right? Like, those two franchises are actually the same. They're just called different names in different places. Oh, and I love that when you when you cannon travel to Gaia's navel, you usually land on that bee and do a bunch of damage. Maybe he bought the kid a pult from Richie Rich. Sean R. I never saw that movie, but I know what you're talking about. That's Macaulay Culkin, right? Give me some waffle fries, please. The blue and whites, baby, says Coco. Oh yeah, and uh, I put up another poll in the chat. Feel free to vote for which sunglasses I should wear next. Ah, don't get so close! You're gonna push me into the lava. Okay, do we have anything to upgrade? We do. I can upgrade my Chobin's bow. And now I've upgraded it to the short bow. The YouTube short bow. And let's see what it does. Nothing special. Unlike the broadsword, which gives uh, an increase to agility. And again, um, I wanted to—I mentioned this yesterday, but I'll mention it again. Some weapons will tell you something like, "Oh, the gloves inflicts damage on insects, etc." Insects and such. I don't got to explain that. And the axe is effective against plants slash fish. So these weapons are supposed to have weapon affinities on them that deal extra damage to, for example, slimes and lizards. 
However, the affinities on the weapons do not work in this game. Just like they don't work in the uh, original Final Fantasy. Yo, Nicholas D, upgraded membership to $6.99? Nice. Hey, I appreciate you, my man. So, Karma, that pic of you, were you reenacting Braveheart? No, Lexi Wolf, so so maybe I'll dig up this video, but that was me, um, I, that was me in like an Ultimate Warrior cosplay, I guess I would say, for like a, a wrestling skit slash parody. So yeah, this game was programmed by Nazir, just like the original Final Fantasy, as well as Final Fantasy 2 and 3. But just like in Final Fantasy, the weapon affinities don't work. In Final Fantasy, you'll find weapons like, oh, the giant sword is supposed to deal extra damage or be extra effective against giant-type enemies. But it doesn't. It isn't. What can make a hole this big? Bruh. You're looking at her. The thieves are below. They'll hit the underground palace. I'll handle the palace. You check this out. Keep alert. We don't know what lies below. Sure. Ooh, and I love this funky music. Ah, okay, so I, I do, I would like to show off the charge glitch again, and I think there's a, there's a boss coming up. So let's show off the weapon charge glitch. It does require two controllers, or at least this particular version of the glitch requires two controllers. So let's set it up. And what I'm going to do is... Because... Because my main character, Gecko is level 2 with the sword, and level 1 with the polearm, I'm going to equip him with the sword. And I'm going to equip another character with the pole arm. And I'm going to control Gecko, my main character here. What's up, Dima and Izzy? I see you, by the way. And the miniature Marauder. There's just a treasure chest here? Let's steal this! Found all of the mana seeds. Oh, it's a Whip's Orb. I was just covering for Jordy Pants that day. Aha, the water seed! How, how'd you mugs get in here? You realize we can't let you leave. I'm gonna give them voices like Bebop and Rocksteady. Yo, I love the boss's outfit. Welcome. We, the Scorpion Army, will rule the world. I can't do her voice. I have to make it sexy, and I can't do that. Not without YouTube banning me. Check it out! Shut up! We took the water seed to complete our super deluxe robot. We call it Kirby. Hubba hubba. Why did they say that? Do it! Aye aye, sir. They just left? Oh, a boss battle, cool. Go get them now, see ya, farewell. Goodbye, children. Aye, what's wrong? Too much energy, it's out of control! No, remove the seed. Use the auxiliary power. Auxiliary power. Oh yeah, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the second player join me here. <laughs> she immediately got moogled. And I'm gonna charge my first player up to his level two attack. Then I'm gonna have the second player swap weapons with the first player. And you'll see my meter is starting to freak out like this. Well, I missed with the attack. Let's try it again. Okay, so again, I'm gonna have him charge up his level two attack. I'm gonna have the second player switch weapons with him. Ah. I'm gonna have the second player switch weapons with him. And hopefully I don't miss the attack this time. It just didn't hit him. Well, sometimes you gotta try a bunch. Maybe the pole arm isn't a good choice for this.
Let's maybe try it with a power glove. So... I'm gonna switch back. Hitboxes are so janky in this game. Okay, let's try it with the power glove instead. So, I'm gonna charge to level two with the sword. And again, since he's only at level one with the power glove, I'm gonna switch his level one weapon with his level two weapon now. And the charge will start to freak out like this. My gosh. I swear I'll get this. Um, hold on. I gotta heal. I gotta heal sports. Man, this is really going poorly. Okay. It'll happen, I promise. Okay, so let's charge this up to level two again. And then swap the weapons. All right, but don't hit me this time. Oh, I baited out his spin move. He's trying to spin to win. Okay, that did like a ton of damage and didn't one-shot the boss, but like that was still pretty darn good. So that's how the weapon charge glitch works. And I'm gonna press the start button on the second controller to um, to switch back to AI control. Let's use the bow! Fun fact, this boss was actually censored for the American version. In the Japanese version, he wielded chainsaws and was, dis and was censored despite there being no blood. That's neat. Alright, my buddy Sports here is getting too close to this boss. Wait, there we go. I'm trying to open up his magic menu. Let's hit him with, like, Gem Missile or something. Yo, Lousy David! Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Ah! I got bopped with a comical noise. Sports is Moogle. Well, you know what? Now would be a good time to actually use the Remedy spell. Because it cures status ailments. I opened up the wrong menu there. Sports got immediately Moogled again. Can you stop getting bopped? Alright, hit him with Gem Missile. Did that do a bunch of damage? Couldn't really tell. Man, this bow is doing, like, nothing. Let's hit him with the axe. Oh, I can, I can charge to level 2 with the axe, which is nice. The level 2 attack is pretty good. Because he just lunges forward, then immediately hits. Unlike a... A bunch of charge in this, a charge attacks in this game, when you unleash them, your character dashes forward, does something dumb for like two or three seconds, then swings his weapon, but like, in that time, you could easily get hit and interrupted. Got Javelin's Orb. Been going through it, but we're back in business. Lousy David, you want to talk about it? I'm glad we're back in business. I love business. Nuts! Oh well, see ya, bye. Recovered Mana Seed. I love this typo. Happy Friday, KJ and friends. Dropping a like. Hey, appreciate you, Any Enigma. Mile High Gamer, what's going on? Dang, you are powering through this game. Am I? I feel like I'm taking it ease. Let's bring it back to the Water Palace. You're safe. Somehow you seem older. I technically am. Gemma took off with some Pandoran soldiers. Was he trying to rhyme there? It almost worked. Older with soldiers? I got some pretty ill rhymes. I'll drop a fat beat. Is it your birthday, Karma? Gecko. No. Do I seem older? <laughs> hey, what's up, Dawn? Okay, which one's ready? Um, the pole dart. 
And the whip! This becomes something good, right? Oh, the black whip. Does that do anything? That actually might have an effect, a secondary effect. So let's see. Slows enemies down, yeah, it tangles them. Well, let's use that one. This guy, I'm just gonna give him the sword. And let's switch to Molly M. Wait, do I need to stay at an inn? I don't know if I got my MP recovered. I did not. <clears throat> Life is a long side quest to gather people for your funeral. Yeah, speaking of Molly M. Uh, not that she's dead, she she does like apprentice funeral work. Geckos hit and evade up. Or let's sleep now that we're so fast. Yeah, I just like to use the girl character's MP before you sleep because like it's just a a free chance to well not free, but you might as well get some uh, some spell experience. You scared me with that. Sorry, Gecko. Save your game. Oh god, I forgot to I forgot you need to level magic says Karamaru Crow. Yeah, it's like pretty darn necessary against certain bosses, I'll say. And welcome, by the way. Molly M's faded. What did it say? Nothing super heavy. Changes in my company and moving isn't fun for someone who doesn't like change. At least not that much change at once, says Lousy David. Well, I'm glad to have you back. Who made you a moderator? That's crazy. See ya. Lullabud's tangled? I don't think so. Lullabud's exploded is what it is. Okay, so what did they say? Yeah, so we gotta go back to the water palace. And by the way, when it says an enemy is tangled, it means they've been they've had their uh, evade reduced. And they might actually get their movement speed reduced too when that when that happens to them. But yeah, this whip slows enemies down. Or maybe it's just the movement speed. But either way, it's like, it's a decent secondary effect on this whip. And when it says they get whacked, that means I scored a critical hit. Karma drunk? Whoa, whoa, why are we saying this? So wait, Karma, those subs, does it technically mean... With those subs, does that mean I'm technically been subbed for six years now? Lexi Wolf, you could technically argue that. I wish you had been subbed for six years. Haunted Forest doesn't say anything about the Cannon Travel Center that's this way. Lesser David, an enigma. There's only a greater David here. Take it one step at a time and recharge with familiar activities, friends, and foods to remind yourself of stable times, baby. Let's go to the water palace. Hey, tiny cat. Yeah, that implies that you have another form, Lesser David. And here's tiny cat, just hopping up in my lap. Tiny cat, you've seen this game a couple times. Also, there's my, uh, my Metroid shirt with Metroid and Ridley. Water, water palace. Have a nice flight. It's Italian, obviously. Yo, it's TC. Meow Slam is correct, Sean R. We remember Meow Slam. One, one of the many times Tiny Cat knocked over the microphone. Meat Rod is right, Rogue Effect. Sorry, lesser is a loose synonym for lousy. <laughs> Not meant to put anyone down. Well, any Enigma, his name starts with Lousy, so, like, I, 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 he might be immune to those kind of words. What? There are fish in the water? How dare they? And that fish got tangled a bunch. 
Weren't these like the exact enemies that I was like destroying earlier and now I'm they take like a couple hits to kill? Maybe I wasn't destroying them. By the way, I think if you're like too close with the whip, you just straight up miss. You straight up miss the attack. <gasps> Water thug! One of my favorite enemy types. He's a fish with a trident, and for some reason they call him a thug. Ooh, what's in the box? Riot gas! I've become small. And you can punch and kick in this form. Ooh, and I can deal like five damage. Does this like wear off eventually? Ah! But yeah, my offense is greatly decreased in this form. I wonder if it goes away when I go through a door. No! Man, it's really not wearing off. And I love this music. It's just a remix of the of the outsides theme. All right. I suppose I will use a medical herb on Molly M to heal her miniaturization so that she can grow taller and possibly dunk. Can you guys imagine Molly M dunking? Should I show off the charge glitch one more time? I really want to get it, like, in a way that, like, smashes a ball. Like, I want to one-shot something, you know? Are we making fish puns in my chat right now? Water hardly newer. Oh, God, we need to knock it off. Wave really got to stop. Oh my gosh. What are you guys doing right now? But yeah, if we were making fish puns right now, Kira H would school us all. Alright, so let me set it up one more time. I'm gonna explain it even. So this, the charge glitch, like I was saying, requires two controllers. The charge glitch requires two controllers, and since Gecko, my main character, is going to be performing the attack, I'm going to need a weapon that he can charge to level two, and a weapon that he can charge to level one. So let's equip him with the sword, and I'll equip another character with the power glove. He's got the sword, I'm going to have Molly M equip the power glove. I'm gonna switch control to him. Then I'm gonna wait for a boss battle to start. Ooh, cutscene. Luca, get out of here fast. My name's Gecko. Who have we here? I'm Geshtar of the Empire. What's your name? Let's be friends. What's up, KJY? I noticed you were making fish puns just now for the halibut. <laughs> well, I don't want to speculate on Kira H. <laughs> yeah, all puns are dad jokes, by the way. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. This is KJ, KJY. With the power glove, she might be able to get 50,000 points on Double Dragon. Hand over that seed, or Luca's had it. She has. It used to belong to her. What will you do? Hand it over. I think that's the fastest option. Atta boy! I oh, they were just gonna put it back. That's fine. So glad the seed's here. Too bad we have to break the seal. Stop it! Well, nice to have met you all. Okay. As a little gift, I'd like you to have my little pet. Remember to feed him a little. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge up my sword to level two. I'm gonna have the second player join in. And then once the sword is, the, I'm sorry, once the sword is charged to level two, I'm gonna have my character with the gloves swap weapons with him. And now his charge gauge will be freaking out. But if I let this attack rip, oh, I missed with it, come on. 
Let's try it again. I'm sort of getting bopped here. Um, man, it's so hard to manage two controllers at once. Let's heal everybody up. So, like, the problem with this glitch is, like, I have to know where to hit these enemies, and sometimes it's not obvious. Okay, so let's get out of the way here. I am going to switch back. Charge the sword back up to level two. Everyone just got poisoned. Then let's try swapping again. And now this time, like, what if I hit this guy like this? I didn't spin to win? Well, I released, like, a level six attack on him, and it just straight up missed, so... Maybe I'm messing around a little bit too much. Oh, do I have a couple of wishes? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's let's heal Molly M who is about to die. Everyone's getting poisoned a bunch here. Uh let's try let's try some gem missile on this dude. That Hydra's hacking. Well, that hit him. Oh, I'm very close to dead here. Oh, I'm gonna die. Holy cow. Alright, let's revive everyone. Man, yeah, that the glitch is like really powerful, but like just hitboxes in this game are so janky and unreliable that you can slash right through a boss's body and he'll be like, that didn't hit me. Oh, right, I forgot. I'm supposed to hit you specifically in the feet. Or on the left neck. Part of the reason why I think this game didn't age well is there's just, like, so much stuff like that that doesn't make any sense. Like, you slash your sword right through that enemy. Or, like, I don't know, it just so happens that, like, one of the weapons sucks and it, like, will never work against him. So let's see if I can do it with Molly M. Spear and sword. I'm gonna equip her with the spear. Gosh dang it. And this guy keeps running up and getting whacked. Um let's let's I can't jump. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have Molly M charge her spear to level two. Then I'm gonna have the second player swap. Oh wait, I want him to equip the sword first. Okay, then I'm gonna have the second player swap the sword with Molly M. And let's see if this can work. That worked. Ha ha ha. We did it. We beat that monster. Used a lot of resources to do it, but that's fine. Way to go! Got Bose Orb. Nice GG easy get wrecked. Hey Gemma! You didn't, like, defend Luca here? The Imperial forces have drawn back. We managed to defeat their monsters in Pandora, too. I got this from one of them. You should have it. Ooh, got a whips orb. What were they doing with that? Gecko, we're running out of time. I'll return home and stop the Empire there. Only a restored monosword can beat the fortress. Talk to the cannon travel man in Potos. He'll send you to the upper land. Now, use your sword to restore the seal put on the seed. I'm just going to use the whip or whatever I'm equipped with. 
Karma on YouTube? Nah, only heard about his OnlyFans, says Nick Listy. Received the seed's power again. Pure evil seeks the seed now. You must hurry and revive the Monosword. Go to the lofty mountains and see Sage Jock to learn about real courage. Then go to all eight of the world's palaces and reactivate all the seeds. You will be able to receive mana power from the seeds once you reactivate them. I have business with Sage Luca. Bye for now. Yo, I love business. We were just talking about business. Also, let's end the poll. What does it say? Perp in the lead? With 33%. What's up, E-Man? How are you? I'm switching sunglasses right now. What? Karma has an OnlyFans? Julia Scala? I've been thinking about it. <clears throat> hey, Karma, do you like House MD? Uh, yes. I actually loved that show and never finished the series. For some reason. I was like, yeah, let's watch some House, and then didn't watch... How many seasons were there? I might have not watched the final season, or maybe the final two. I'm good, how are you, says E-Man. Pretty great. Karma, I like your content, says Nintendo Fan Club. Thank you. Eleven, I think? Dang, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I watched more than, like, six seasons of that show. I couldn't tell you why, though. Like, I liked it and then stopped. Alright, so let's go to the inn. I'm gonna use up all my MP before we do that. Same here. I like the show, too, but just stop watching for no apparent reason, says KJY. Nah, you better not, says Froggy. Why? So many people are out there are like, OnlyFans is for, for losers and people who want attention. And it's like, no, it's, it's for people who want money. <laughs> Yo, Nintendo Fan Club, I promise you I'll get to Pokemon soon. Uh, you know what? I need some stuff. thousand bucks for one of those it's actually kind of worth getting I, I don't know where you can buy them is the thing aside from this Nico all right let's stay at the end take your time I ah, appreciate you Sean, how many skulls would be an appropriate amount, would you say? I'm playing Bubble Bobble again, says Ice Hero Brian. <laughs> Amazing. I want to be on OnlyFans, but I like cake too much. A lot of people on OnlyFans like cake too much, too. So, I don't see the problem, Nicholas D. When you come into Europe? Dang, that's a great question, Nintendo Fan Club. I went to France in, like, 2010, but... I haven't been back to Europe since. So yeah. All right, let's do the charge glitch on this poor rabbi. So, oh wait, no, that won't work because my characters will just straight up kill it. Let's do it on this flower. So, I'm gonna charge. Wait, wait, wait. So first, I gotta get her a, a weapon that she can equip to that she can charge to level two. And a weapon that she can charge to level 1. So I'm going to equip her with a spear since she can charge that to level 2. And I'm going to have another character equip the sword because she can charge that to level 1. I'm going to charge my spear all the way up to level 2. Then I'm going to have the second character switch weapons and give her the sword. Now her meter starts to freak out, which means she's gaining a weapon level every other frame. And I can unleash it on that poor unsuspecting flower. And it showed that I did 391 damage there. But the number was probably something like 1,000 or 2,391, I'm guessing. But yeah, that glitch does require two controllers. 
Um, there's another one that you can use with one player involving the AI, but it is very unreliable because you need the AI to, like, cooperate with you. Where am I going right now? Oh, yeah, I have to go to cannon travel. Deleted. Is it always a crit? No, that wasn't even a critical hit. That was just some really big damage because I... The game thought that I charged the weapon to, like, level 69. So it was like, dang, you did a really powerful attack. Upperland, let's go. The Upperland is huge. Reach it by going through the Great Forests. Just slide into the cannon. I will. I'll slide into your cannon. I don't know where I was going with that. It just occurred to me that rabbites are probably Jewish rabbits. Yeah, that's it. They do like bar mitzvahs and stuff. And also they are pretty much otherwise just like us. Sports, your home's here in the Great Forest, right? Lead on. Um, huh? I hit my head again when we landed. Lovely, this might take a while. Yo, there are moogles in this game, by the way. Poo, listen, he's laughing. No, crying. Pebblers have taken over their village. Some people's laughing really sounds like crying. Oh my gosh! There's a tiny Moogle. Poo. They don't say Koopo in this game? Poo. I decided to get out of that hole. Just smell this fresh air. Okay, which one's ready? Probably Whip's Orb. Didn't I just upgrade that? And this. So, like, unfortunately, when I upgrade the whip, it will no longer slow enemies, I'm guessing. Backhand whip! You can't use it forehand. Isn't that how you're, like, normally supposed to use whips? Actually, some sometimes with a bullwhip, you can do, like, an overhand thing. Moogles? Hardly newer. Yes, Nick Lizzy. Terrible COD 4 player. OMG high. Alright, let's see what my new weps do. That's short for weapons. Okay, what did I just get? A new bow. Effective against animals, birds, and beasts? It's actually not. Ooh, raises agility and evade. Okay, that's also good. That's also really good. So yeah, here's the upper land. Um, Secret of Mana loosely connected to the Final Fantasy games because it's got Moogles and Chocobos sometimes. Ooh, there's a Nico. I just spent a lot of money. This guy might have some good armor for me, though. Um, let's equip the whip. 38 attack, and it's got great range. Does more attack than the spear, which is hard to do. What was that crazy dragon, and how did it fly under us there? Perfect weather. Oh, I get it. He's a cat. What can I do for you? Buy. You can buy from me. Cobra bracelet. A quill cap is 220. Seems like it's worth getting. Headgear. Hardly new gear. Let's get a couple of these. Anything else? So I think the Cobra bracelet will have like a little bit more defense, but I might even just keep the power wrist equipped because that gives like five attack. Yo, 10 defense for this? That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth getting. So let's take a look at our stats here. 26, 21, 20, 17, 27. Does this change anything? Yeah, well, my strength went down. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Probably just wasted some money there. It gives two more defense than the power wrist, but the power wrist gives five strength, which is awesome. That's okay. Let's equip that quill cap. Do you see anything in those goggles? 
These are sunglasses, and yes, I see about as poorly as I normally do when I'm wearing these. Doesn't Cobra Bracelet prevent poison? Oh, you might be right about that, Hellblade. That's probably why I want it. If there are enemies, if there are any enemies around here that deal poison, that can inflict poison, I will possibly equip the Cobra Bracelet. I want a Karma Jolt Bobblehead on my disc. Desk, yo, Lexi Wolf. I have mugs. I don't have bobbleheads yet. What's up, the real gamers? Where's your two friends so you can play this co-op? Elrin? That's a great question. Sean, get over here. And I'll invite Chis G. Yeah, you know what? I might just finish out this game with a friend. But I sort of got a long way to go. It's a fairly long game. You know, it's an RPG. So yeah, you probably noticed this already, but like, as I move from uh, area to area in here, in this place, the upper land, the colors will change as if the seasons were turning. So right now, this looks like it's the summer area. Ah, that water thug. He tried spin to win. Um, and the previous area was spring, was it not? This is canon travel. Have you ever played Seiken Densetsu 3 or its remake? Oh yes, KGY. Um, yeah, I did a playthrough of Seiken Densetsu 3, the sequel to this game, which is now known as Trials of Mana, a couple years ago. I could have sworn you were sub to me back then, but maybe I'm wrong. Yo, energy absorb from the silk tail? Absorb that. Where does this take me? It takes me to the fall. This is clearly fall, you can tell, because there are birds and it's brown. Yeah, missed opportunity of Square Enix to make the remake, the remake three-player co-op. I'm surprised they didn't. I actually don't know too much about the remake, but we were talking about it on stream the other day. And like, it seems like it was just bad and not worth playing. Hey, Molly M's magic skill up. Undyne reaches level two. Undyne is gonna level up way more than the others, just because it it has the curing spell, so I'm gonna be using it all game. Okay, where does this way go? I like to pretend that when Karma Jolt does that scoffing sound, he randomly fell asleep on stream. No, it was calculated, rogue effect. I decided to fall asleep then and there. Okay, so I think what I gotta do first is like, there is gonna be some puzzle thing that involves the seasons and going to them in the correct order. But I think what I need to do first is find the Moogle village. Ooh, and there's an orb thingy. Now I know for a fact that I cannot, um, that I don't have the right type of magic to break that magic orb thingy. So there's no need for me to try to do it. But I'll show you later. What's up, Trainer Charlie? Athena Fox! I was just not talking about you. Z, 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 Z. And welcome to the stream. Yeah, Hellblade. So I, I have to get the next elemental guy before I can mess with that magic orb. But I also have to destroy some rabbits. They're rabbites. How are you, says Boba Fett. Dark ghoul. I... And playing Secret of Mana, so you tell me. <clears throat> Wait, I already went that way. It reminds me of Pokemon the slightest bit. Why is that? Because of all the weird animals that have special attacks?
By the way, the other day I was playing, well, I guess this is a while ago, but I was playing Yoshi on the NES, that puzzle game for the NES. It might also be on Game Boy. Um, but I was like, this music sounds exactly like it could fit in a Pokemon game. And I looked it up, same guy, same guy did the music. Or maybe it was a lady, I don't know. I don't really know with Japanese names. Molly M reaches level 16. She can vote now! Wait, no she can't. Yo, Froggy, you heading out? Appreciate you. Have you ever checked out Pal World? I've seen memes of it. I, I have had zero interest in doing that, but like, I, I don't know why. It looks silly and fun. From, or at least what I've heard of it sounds like it will be. Okay, so where do I go? I like, probably have missed a couple exits here. Where does this way go? Back to the wind door? This is nothing? How many exits are in this room? I tried that one. Okay, let's go back to the previous area. I kind of remember, like, it's, it's hard just to, like, find the exit in this area. So let's look around. Ooh, and so silence in this game, not only does it um, make it so that you can't cast spells, it also reverses your your D-pad. So right now I'm holding up. Well, it, it went away. But I was holding up on the D-pad and walking down. Molly M would reach level 3 with a whip. What's up, Mac Daddy? An ex sinist Arrived a little late? Nah, you good. I haven't accomplished much this stream. Well, I guess I defeated two bosses and earned five million dollars. Um, and also earned uh, a, a purple heart for being wounded in combat. And did a job interview. So, yeah, you might have missed a lot. Especially the part with the monster truck rally. Okay, so this is the cannon travel. What game are you playing, says A. Mkoko Shup? Yeah, this is Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo. Same game I was playing yesterday. And it's like pretty good. Even though there's a lot of janky stuff about it and stuff that doesn't make sense and the dialogue is bad at certain times. What's up, Sleep Deem? Look who's streaming, says Michelle Myers. Uh-oh, it's Karma Jolt. So yeah, I've been this way, right? What's this way? What's up here? <gasps> Mole bears is probably what these guys are. Level three attack. Oh, it missed. <laughs> yeah, remember how I was talking about how sometimes stuff is janky in this game? Define retro, because things like Wii U are now considered a retro. Like, there's no... official definition of what you can accept as retro and what is not. I feel like a lot of people, like, oh my gosh, a lot of gamers will be like, that isn't retro because I'm older than it, you know? And it's like, dude, this isn't about you. Chocolate! I'll eat it. An animal dropped some chocolate? Sounds great to me. The Moogles can come back to the village now. Is it a village or is it just a clearing with some flowers? <gasps> and a treasure chest and a Nico and Moogles. Got Axe's orb, heck yeah. Koopy, Koopopo. Okay, so they do say Koopo. Oh, my head, uh, na 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 na. Wait, is it Gaiden or Gaiden? I say Gaiden, Boba Fett. Lost Samurai, what's going on? Why does this game actually look fun? It is fun! It's fun and it's from 1993 and it has some old video game problems, but it's still fun. What is your favorite chocolate, Karma? Uh, the one that's in cookies. I don't know. I guess milk chocolate is fine. 
White chocolate? Pretty darn good every now and then. I am not picky. Walk the seasons from spring to winter, spring again, and we can enter. Ooh. Enter? Damn near kilter. Got gloves orb! What were my allies doing there? That's that Moogle's voice, by the way. Oh, they all say the same thing? So yeah, there's just some free stuff to find here now that I've um, liberated their city. Perfect weather. Hey, Athena Fox, how did your pie turn out? For pie day. Okay, he's selling the same stuff. But like, you know what I haven't done in a while? Save the game. I should probably do that before I make a dumb mistake and die. This game do look fun. Yo, Sleep Team, you can play this game three players. Oops, I hit the wrong button. More like under new management steals their chests. Well, I'm just borrowing. Hey, what's your favorite video game soundtrack? Mine's Doom Eternal. Michelle Myers, like, I love the Streets of Rage games. For their soundtrack. Oh wait, I think you get like the best weapon in the game right now. Yeah, the Moogle Claws. I'm gonna use those pretty exclusively. And the Stout Axe is fine because it gives you defense and that's like what this character needs. So like, first of all, let me show you that. Raises constitution by two points, not a huge deal, but like, you know, it gives you some defense. Probably not quite as good as getting evade. But the Moogle Claws put enemies to sleep. That is, it knocks them the F out, Operculum. So, let's go on a rampage with this item right now. I'm gonna give, um... I'm gonna give the whip to sports. And the glove... to girl. What does this guy got? He's got the sword, that's fine. Let's, like, for no reason, level up his... some other weapon. Let's give him the boomerang. I bought this game when I was around nine in a mall in Houston, Texas. It was a small boutique with an Asian lady. I had the choices of Final Fantasy IV, Mystic Quest, FF6, and this. Whoa! Those are some awesome choices, Operculum. Alright, so here's what the Moogle Claws do. Bang! Water Thug's unconscious, and now we can just wail on him. Like, every single enemy, you can just put them down and defeat them. It's pretty busted. In fact, I might even, like, not level this weapon up for a while. Like, the next time I get an orb, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, whatever, and not use it. Okay, so it said goes... Go to spring first, right? And then you basically gotta do a loop through the seasons. Bird? Get knocked out. And knocked down. That was a flying type too, and I'm using fighting moves and still just like dominated the matchup. It's insane. <clears throat> Karma, he wants to know what the game is about. Uh, who's asking? Doesn't matter. Uh... This game is basically like, oh, the, the the power of mana was once used for good, but then one time it was used for evil and there was like an entire war about it. So somebody with the mana sword destroyed the mana fortress. Oh, I don't even think I did a full loop there. Or maybe I had previously started it? What did it just tell me? There was a noise coming from somewhere. Probably down here, right? Oh wait, not yet. What's up, Chris? I see you meowing.
So yeah, we have to go to like eight palaces to find eight mana seeds and restore the power of the mana sword so we can de destroy the mana fortress. That's the general plot. Sports, quit dying. This game makes me happy. It reminds me of good times. Good, Operculum. I'm glad. Oops, I didn't mean to do that guy. Let's change this action grid, because, like, this... How are you... Why are you getting that close when, you, when you're set to, like, keep away? Okay, whatever, let's just go this way. The plot is basically Zelda. Yeah, I hear it when I, when I say the thing about the, uh... The eight palaces. I'm running low on MP, but so is this guy. Man, that guy just, like, didn't get a chance to attack. And to the right is the cannon travel, right? It's time, Karma. I want to abuse my member rights to force a change of sunglasses. You got it, Nick Lizdy. Uh, let's pick a random one. Actually, let's actually pick a random one without looking. Ugh. You got the Minecraft. Yo, A, Mkoko Shop? Thank you for listening to my mods and not talking back. Oh my gosh, you're like the first one. Pi won first place? Yo, I was on the phone with Athena Fox, like, uh, a couple days ago, and she was like, I decided to enter the stupid pie contest for pie day, and I have no idea what I'm doing, and I asked chat GPT what kind of pie I should make, and it was like, you should make a triple berry pie, and she was like, okay, how do I do that? And, like, the directions were hard, and she didn't know what she was doing, and she was complaining so much, and then her pie won first place in the competition. I believe that. That sounds like a Athena Fox. Minecraft glasses. Yeah, Athena Fox gave me these, by the way. So shout outs to Athena Fox. Jordy Pants and Finder. Sean is such a great friend and mod. He should get a pie. There is there is no chance that I could make a pie better than Sean could, though. So How many pairs of sunglasses do you have, Karma? Probably like 40 at this point. Underrated glasses streamer, thank you. Um, where do I go? So like, I definitely did the thing to unlock the path, the correct path. But where that is? So this, I know I've checked this like a hundred times, but this is the cannon travel, right? Yeah, so that will take me out if I want to go. I love cats, says Sleep Team. Yo, same. Well, I will make the pie. Heck yeah. Uh, this might be new. Yeah, wait a second. I'm back, says Sports. What the? The village is in shambles. What on earth happened? Hey, something's here and it sounds adorable. Let's go help it. Is it in here? Yo, look at all these crazy dragons flying around. Those attack the village, probably. Yo, what is this thing? Bird? Spring beak. It's a pun, because it's it sounds like spring break. But it also uh, is a bird with a beak and it jumps around a lot. Okay, so like this guy is impossible to hit with physical attacks from what I remember. Maybe the bow will help here. But like, I just like don't know how to hit this guy with physical attacks. Especially if he keeps jumping around like that.
Oh, it looks like I shot it there, actually. Ah, okay, so this doesn't make any sense, but, but if I shoot, well, if he's on the platform and I shoot, like, at his sprite and not actually where he is in relation to my character, uh, like, disregarding the height change, I can hit him. Silence! Level four. That didn't work. This guy is jumping around a lot and, like, not really attacking me, which is cool. Ah. And what are these hitboxes? I don't understand this game. Dead! I destroyed a bird! Sean R, that was for you. You have to melee from the elevated level when he's lower. Wait, wait, so if I use like a sword or a spear, I have to get on those little platforms while he's not on the platform? Is that what you're saying, Hellblade? Got Boomerang's Orb. Totes Preach. Um, it's really sad now. Here's a temple. I love this song. This one does something to me too. It's like peaceful in a spiritual way. Grown, uh. Grandpa, oh, you've grown. Sounds like, is that you, little type? Grandpa, can't you see me? Empire's men came and undid the wind seal. And no, I haven't been able to see in 20 years. A bright flash stunned me. The others, they're... This is awful. No, they must have escaped. I suppose so. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Grandpa, the dialogue is so bad in this game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Tyke, what was that about? The entire conversation was grandpa? Ah, well, I'm... Ah, uh, you know, Grandpa, it must be, uh, 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 Grandpa, no! Okay, what is that conversation? Who decided that that translation was fine? I aspire to be great like Karma Joel. Yo, anime girl, I aspire, I aspire to be great, like the opposite of that dialogue. Me too, says Jordy Pants, ah. Uh, what's a video game enemy that you hate? That should never exist. Yo, Michelle Myers, in Diablo 2, in like uh, the Durance of Hate in Act 3, um, and also other places throughout Diablo 2, there's, there's these like little, like um, these tiny skeleton demons that when you kill them, they explode and they do like a ton of damage. And like melee characters, there's like nothing they can do about that except for like maybe have a high block rate because you can block it, but defense does nothing. So you just have to have like 4,000 HP and hope that they don't kill you. We sprites are a part of mana. That beast couldn't have beat us, but humans are breaking seals and releasing monsters. Which are consuming our source of life, which is mana. Did I mention that? I'll put a stop to that immediately. These two can help. Gecko, no response. I. Why did they put that in there? Like, not only is the dialogue bad, but in so many Square Enix games, they feel that it's necessary for a character to specifically say dot dot dot. Which is nothing. I don't have to explain this to you. But, like, why do we have to see that a character is saying nothing there? Also, what Squaresoft loved to do in the 90s is just have characters say other characters' names an unnecessary amount. Like in Final Fantasy IV, so much of the dialogue is just like, Rosa, 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 or like Rydia, Rydia, some people say Rydia. I'm talking about in Final Fantasy IV. But also a lot of other Squaresoft games. When Gecko said dot dot dot, it made me cry of happiness. Shut the heck up. <laughs> I'd go with you if I could see better, says Grandpa. That's my excuse for canceling plans all the time. At least take Sylphid, the wind elemental, with you. It took me until I was like 25 before I realized it's Sylphid and not Slyphid. 
Hi, I'm a guy with weird pants. You called, Master? These young people are now your master. Okay. I'm just gonna call you Grandpa then. It is so. Gained Sylphid's Pants. Use Analyzer to learn what magic works on crystal orbs. Use your magic on the orb in this forest to open the way to Matango. I also used to think that was Mantango, but there's no mans in there. Gotta go by everyone. Yo, Gecko, thanks for being the main character. Boba T, welcome. Dat one donut? More like dot one donut, am I right? Use your magic on the orb. Did I already say that? Anyway, it said a white dragon lives in the cave north of Matango. The dragon can help you. Go now and worry not about me. Grandpa, everyone will be back soon. Me too. Come back whenever you're tired. Anyway, I need to find a bathroom. Let me fix you up. Shall I save your game? Take care. Also, there's some Werther's Originals in the drawer if you would like some. Also, don't forget to do this. This is important. Received the seed's power, which is the power to grow a tree, I guess. Fun fact, Ted Woolsey translated this game, and in an interview said that the work nearly killed him. Nicholas D, why is that? Did, did he specify why? Did he elaborate? I would love to see that now. Anyway, let's go find an orb. Ah. I don't have my my knockout claws anymore. I love that this claw, like this this hand weapon with like 4-inch spikes on the end of it is like, oh yeah, that puts enemies to sleep. Mom, I can't sleep. Don't worry. Riot gas. Molly M's moogled. Molly M would be moogled. Okay, moogle wears off after a very short time. Moogle status in this game, not nearly as bad as it is in the uh, prequel to this. Which again, the prequel to this game is Final Fantasy Adventure on the Nintendo Game Boy, and it's a really good game for a Game Boy game from 19 1991. 91. Analyzer? Hardly newer. Oh yes, okay, so I have the Sylphid magics now. And this Analyzer spell, not only will it tell you what magic to use on crystal orbs when you need to like, I don't know, get through a blocked forest. But it can also tell you the weakness of enemies and stuff. So let's use Air Blast on the crystal. Whoa, that waist-high uh, plateau is now gone, and we can travel on. There's no way to get around that before now. Like, our characters obviously can't jump. Let's, let's charge the claws up to level 2. The claws have some fun-looking, uh... Yeah, some fun-looking charge animations, like that... That fireball uppercut. Oh my gosh. Because 40% of the text had to be dumped due to cartridge and text box restrictions. That's what I thought you were going to say, Nicholas D. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds awful. <clears throat> I can't blame him, but... It still doesn't change the fact that the dialogue in this game is bad. <laughs> Gecko's weapon skill up. Boomerang reaches level 2. Riot gas, watch this. Candy won't fit. Uh, you know what? I should probably use a candy. Because that is dropped in treasure chests all the time. So, like... I'll probably, like, let's use this to get some HP back. And then we'll find another. Yo, when Gecko said dot dot dot, I felt that, says Spider. <laughs> I did too, but like in a way that gave me indigestion. 
Is that what you meant? Molly M's weapon skill up. Yeah, so I think when you <laughs> I think when you charge up to level three with the gloves, you get like a crazy Hadouken thing. So let's. Oh no, you get a spin kick. Got double level ups there. Well, I ran into a critter in the trees. Hmm. All right, never mind. This is an annoying enemy because he's got really high defense and evade, and like his his hits against you are just like super reliable. Like he can just damage you real easy. Imagine having to translate thousands of lines of dialogue and then have to trash almost half. And then stretch out the rest to make it, to make a lick of sense. Yes. I, you know, I can imagine that because, um, my, in a previous line of work, I did, um, content writing, uh, for, like, digital marketing firms. And, like, you, you just had to, like, cram a lot of... Words that were relevant to Google and uh, the Google search engine into a lot of pages that um, had to be dumbed down to make sense for, like, the average person. And in such a way that was readable to people who were scanning. So, I sort of get it. Ah, a dragon. Almost crashed into me. Nemesis Owl! Rival Bird! I'm playing Doom Eternal on Nightmare. It's really frustrating, says Michelle Myers. Uh, I don't think I've ever played Doom Eternal. I played Doom 1 and 2. I think you can get the Midge Mallet from the Gaia Elder now, says Hellblade. Like, if I go back to Gaia's navel, you mean? In the dwarf city? It's a good item. What's the big secret in mana, says Joe D. Yeah, so the secret was that apparently 40% of the dialogue had to be cut down due to, um... Like, space restrictions. Because again, this game was originally planned to be uh, a, a title for the Super SNES disc system that was a peripheral that ended up getting like scrapped. It never really got made. So Squaresoft was like, dang it, it's not going to be on a disc anymore. We're, we're putting it on a cartridge, so make it a lot shorter. But don't tell anyone. That's the secret. Let's uh, air blast one of these peblers. Did they call them Pebblers before? Did the Moogle say Pebblers, or did they call them Mole Bears? Because Mole Bears is what they're called in the sequel to this game. The sequel of Mana. Man, I love the echo on this beat. This fat beat. <clears throat> Karma, any games you haven't played that you want to? Well, I keep hearing a lot of great things about... Mega Man Battle Network and all of those games, never tried them. So, that's one, at least. Yeah, the disc add-on was supposed to be with Sony. And then Sony was like, you know what? We're just going to be a competitor instead. Unlike others of our kind, we're peaceful. So, slowly turn around. And don't worry about this sword that I'm carrying. I'm sure King Truffle can help you. The forest has become a dangerous place. Watch out for a guy named Mario. We say Matango to greet each other. Sup, Matang Matango. We aren't equipped to fight monsters or humans. Gantma means goodbye. Backwards, it's am to nog, so that makes sense. Not leaving yet, I hope. Oh my gosh. 
If there's one more staircase I gotta climb, then I'm leaving. My job is to wander. My job is to not. This is Fung Castle, home of King Truffle. I love Fung. I'm gonna quantify monsters. Did somebody else already tell you that? Whoa! Uh, I don't know if we serve humans, but um, I guess I'll take your money. Wolf's Band. More like Lexi Wolf's Band. I'll buy a couple of these. Fancy overalls! Need it. I might have to sell some stuff in my armor pile to make room. Ooh, look at this. Fairy walnuts for 500 GP. Can't carry. So, like, you can't carry more than four of any item? That's crazy. <clears throat> I wonder if these mushroom people put sliced up humans on pizza, says KJY. I'll ask them. And then, I, you know, I gotta try the local cuisine. Even if it makes me a... Tourist. <clears throat> Yo, those are pretty fancy. Can't really argue with that one. Okay, four defense is probably worth the, uh, sacrificing the five strength. Because, like, these people get, like, their HP just, like, gets deleted. 13 defense on that steel cap. My Discord is chirping. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a Discord server. There's a link to it in the video description. Let's sell. Like uh, one of these. Yeah, let's just sell everything I don't need. There's a 69 in my gold count right now. I'm gonna sell the overalls. Those aren't really overalls. A spiky suit, super uncomfortable to sleep in. Karma will fit right in. He's a fun guy. Nice. Chrono Todd, I see you. And Buster, what's going on? I'm gonna keep the Kung Fu dress because I just like it in theory. Let's sell like one of these. Mm, let's sell two of them. All right, and I'll, I'll probably end up selling those Cobra bracelets without ever using them. Unless I get, like, really annoyed by some section that has a ton of poison enemies. What are they doing? Whispering secrets of mana. Whew, I thought you'd already left. <laughs> Wasn't making out with his mushroom lady. Okay, which one's ready? I don't know. The Chakram. Chakram? Hardly knew him. Yo, load boomerang? You load it up and fire it at an enemy. That's what they call it, that. Slows enemies down. That's pretty darn good. All right. So, yeah, we got rid of one of our uh, whips that slowed enemies down. But now we have a boomerang that does it. Oh, and there's an inn here. That's nice. I don't want to stay yet. I want to... I want to use all my magic points first. Um, is Gnome level 1 yet? Right now, watch. No? That wasn't it. I didn't do it. Karma, have you ever played the DuckTales games? Yeah, I, I played through DuckTales a couple times on the YouTube channel. Um, I streamed it once, like all the way through. But I also made like a series of short videos about it. Not shorts. But I did a video series of it a while back. Oh yeah, by the way, in this room for no reason, there's just like a secret path that allows you to get back here and there's nothing you can do with it. So I don't know what that's about. 
Seek Gaming, what's going on? One night is 50 bucks because we have the finest straw beds. Wanna stay? Yeah. What about DuckTales 2 or the remaster? I have both of those and have never played them. KJY. So yeah, that's a good idea. What's up, chess boy? Watching Lightning McQueen pee right now. I abbreviated it. That's crazy that you're doing that. Are you sure you're not watching Karma Jolt? But yeah, um, welcome. I didn't need that information, but thanks for joining. I'm watching Mushrooms. I saw a frog had a piece of garlic growing on its back. ZHZ, no you didn't. Did you really? That sounds like a Bulbasaur. Here at last, the legendary knight. Do you mean my friend Molly M? You don't think we have legends here like everywhere else? No, I thought you were an inferior species. Riding a white dragon and drinking a white claw. They shall solve the riddles of the world. Bro, it's 5 a.m. right now, and you're the first thing I watch. I'm from the Philippines. Yo, chess boy, appreciate you. In this game, there are enemies that are just chess knights. So, you would like that one part, at least. What's up, Zatulos W? Garlic Bulbasaur isn't real. It can't hurt you. Rogue Effect, I love that meme format. Because it's like, it's like, oh, uh, Cake Cat isn't real. It can't hurt you. And then it shows, like, Cake Cat, and there's a picture of it. And it's like, okay, but even if it is real, that Cake Cat would never hurt you. I promise you. Have you ever played any Super Mario 3 mods? Yo, Skid 2. It's been a long time, but, like, there's some really good ROM hacks out there that I should get to at some point. That's you guys, right? I knew it right away. Just yesterday, one of my people saw a white dragon fighting White Snake, the band. You know, they do that song, um, Here I Go Again on My Own. And they also do a really funky version of Day Tripper. You know, the Beatles song. Karma, new fan here and enjoying the glitch shorts. Just wondering what controller you're rocking today. Yo, Jason Draper, thank you so much for showing up. I'm playing with my, uh, just my regular... Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Nothing fancy. Use the first floor exit on the right for the cave. Palace? Hardly newest. I mean, I know where it is, but first find the cave. Then I'll tell you how to reach the palace. Do as I say, because I'm the Mushroom King. Oh, and there's something upstairs for you. Forget it, I'm not going upstairs. Well, what if it's an automatic stairs killer? Bomb inside this. Oh, never mind. Javelins are finally. I can upgrade my javelin. Karma, ever tried a Mario Kaizo before? No, but I played Cat Mario. <laughs> so that's enough for me. Phew! I thought you'd already left. All right, which one's left? Javelin. Light trident. Is it? Light as in it's not heavy? Or it's light as in the opposite of dark? What do I gotta click right now? The axe? Let's use the light trident. Actually, let's see what it does. If it has a special ability. Use against animals, birds, beasts. I will, but again, those, those weapon affinities do not work in this game. You shall pass. This guy is the opposite of Gandalf. Cat Mario is Kaizo on its own. So, like, you know what I want to do right now? I want to level up some magic, baby. Um, and Air Blast. Okay, Air Blast and Silence cost the same MP. Kind of whack. But, like, look at these wimpy little Air Blasts at level zero. They're so small, and then you level them up, they get real big and angry like Tornado. 
I'm trying to. By the way, there's like a couple things in here that I just have not seen yet. Oh, targeting. Okay, so what this does is like you can tell an, uh, an AI ally to target a specific enemy. Which isn't all that useful, I guess. I don't really know. I can edit the window, which we've seen. Let's do it again. Uh, let's use the metal frame, I guess. And then like this uh, like wicker looking thatch here. Let's change the color. This is something obnoxious. Actually, how about just like a crazy reddish there? That won't get annoying. All right, we leveling. We're gonna level up some magic. And while I'm at it, why don't I have um, Molly M level up her magic to level one? Yeah, Analyzer costs one MP. Let's use it. All right, it tells you how much experience and gold they give you. That's cool. And if the enemy has a weakness, it'll tell you what that is. It'll say like, oh, this enemy fears gnome. Who I guess is a god in this universe. I don't know what game this is, but looks cool, says the Flaprika Church. Yeah, this is Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo. It's a game from like 1993, and it's fun to play, even if it's a little weird. And the dialogue is bad, and sometimes the mechanics are janky and buggy. What's up, Tristan T? I see you. And the Archon Gamer, Secret of Mana is a classic IMO. And I love playing it multiplayer. So like, maybe I will like, invite a friend over tomorrow to finish it up. Karma just knows all the things and is so handsome talking about stuff. Shorty Pants, I appreciate you. Wait, I'm gonna analyze this thing. Crawler? Hardly newer. Well, he's dead. What about Water Thug? Let's analyze him. 145 HP. Water Thug fears Salamando. That's a, that's an element that I don't have yet. An elemental, I should say. And I'm gonna keep using Analyzer until I like level up my magic here. I guess I can show you the other stuff like Thunderbolt. Whoa, it made the screen do a weird thing there. What's up, Jesse Beats? I see you. And here's what silence looks like. I don't, I don't know if it's worth using on enemies unless they're like really kicking your butt with spells. But it does confuse the enemies and like makes them move in weird ways, I guess, I don't know. Did you just cast Analyzer on the stream instead of the enemy? I could. Let's balloon an enemy. So balloon is a status effect in this game that just puts a balloon on an enemy and while they are ballooned, they like can't move or do anything. Did I balloon him? Yeah, there it is. And the balloon like disappears when you hit an enemy but like it's still technically there, you just can't visually see it. Steamed crab. Yeah, he's so steamed. Hit that water thug. It's weird that the water enemy fears Salamando because that's the fire guy. 
opposite kind of typing. Well, he is a fish, so fish can get fried. I haven't played Secret of Mana in a long time, and you playing it makes me realize that I must have only played it like, like five minutes of it. <laughs> Tristan T, I don't blame you. Sometimes life just gets in the way, you know? Uh, and I also have Thunder Saber, which just adds lightning element to a weapon. But it also changes that weapon's color. Ooh, it's a crazy pink now. Crawler's Tangled. Alright, let's analyze. Yeah, so I just want to get my magic with, uh, Silphid up to level 1 before I fight this, uh, upcoming boss, I think. I think. But also, nothing wrong with leveling in this game. Steamed fish. Yeah, more like streamed fish. How did I miss there? See, that's, that's the stuff that, like, doesn't quite make sense, you know? When an, when an enemy just, like, dodges, or you don't hit him, it doesn't really indicate why or what happened. It's just like, oh, no damage. That's fine. So sometimes it's hard to tell, like, okay, does the enemy just have really high evade? Is their defense so high that I just dealt zero damage? Am I not aiming at the correct spot on the enemy? I think the last time I played this, says the Archon Gamer, was when my mini SNES lost the save data. Not that I had finished the Fire Temple or whatever it was called. Ah, man, I love when save files get erased. Show them no mercy. What's going on? Hi, Karma. Love you, man. Hey, appreciate you. I love you, too. I feel like I'm going at a very slow and casual pace today, but that's fine with you, I hope. Alright, level up these spells real quick. What are your thoughts on the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time? You know, everyone says it's the worst dungeon, and it probably is, but like, I don't really remember having like a huge problem with it. It took me about, like, a little bit longer than most dungeons do. I'll, I'll say that. That said, that was probably, like, 15 years ago. It was the last time I played that game through. That's a game that I should stream. Where are the enemies? There's one. Sports is magic skill up. All right, great. Um, at this point, I could get stuff to like level three if I wanted to. So let's level up Defender because that's actually a decent ability. Defender? She can handle herself. Water Temple is not that bad at all, says Jordy Pants. But yeah, Jordy Pants, aren't you like a god at Ocarina of Time, though? It's a little unfair for you to say. <laughs> Jordy Pants has shown me some glitches in Ocarina of Time. All I am reaches level 19. That's dope. Um, let's... Yeah, yeah, I wanted to upgrade this. Keep doing it. You're doing great. Hey, I'm a little good at it, says Jordy Pants. Medical herb won't fit. Wait, so did I get Sylphid to level 1 with Molly M? No, I did not. Not that it really matters, like, I, I rarely use this magic tree with girl character.
but I will analyze the heck out of this water thug. I don't... Leveling up Analyzer does nothing. When you level up Sylphid, I, I guess it affects Balloon and the duration of the, um... Of the Thunder Saber. Oh my gosh, get out of there. All right, let's go do that cave or whatever. One night is 50 GP. Yo, the percussion in here is funky, but I'm glad they turn it off at night. Why are we so far to the left side of that bed like that? What What is going on with the graphics there? You got the whole bed, but you're using 10% of it? <laughs> Nicholas D, I see you. Cast Analyze on Karma. HP 69 out of 69. Gold 5. Sunglasses 40. Smooth. Go into this door. I said the word door the way Outcast says ayer. And wave him like you just don't care. And if you like fish and grits and all that pimp shit, everybody let me hear you say oh yeah yer. You know the song. Sports is weapon skill up. Whip reaches level three. Let's use it. It's because of your placement when talking to the innkeeper. Hellblade Gaming! I didn't know that. Kimono Bird's tangled. Yeah, you look pretty tangled right now. Air Blast level 2! Look how big those blasts of air were. Dang, that did 45 damage. That's like kind of good. That's like kind of powerful. Sports reaches level 19. Okay, so you know what I want to do? I want to use the Moogle Claws. Silenced. Gecko's weapon skill up. Boomerang reaches level 3. Nice. Let's give him the sword again. Let's give him the axe. Nemesis Owl gets whacked. Where'd you get Karma Jolt from? Oh, it's from a game called River City Ransom on the NES. The Nintendo NES system. It's an item in River City Ransom that replenishes a ton of health. Um, and it's like cheaper than some of the other items that replenish similar amounts of health. So it's like pretty much what you want to fill up your inventory with at the end of the game. Yo, this guy sleeps face down, just like Tiny Cat does sometimes. Oops, I went down the stairs. Ugh. Why am I only doing one damage? I guess flying does resist fighting, like we established. Bat! And it's called a Karma Jolt. Yes, show no, show no mercy. Show them no mercy, excuse me. Slapped him. He exploded into a pile of bones. today. I love how, like, 
basically everybody in any anybody in any town is like monsters have been appearing lately and it's just birds it's like it's like some some cute wildlife has been terrorizing these people you know spin the axe to win yeah so most weapons when you get them to level six they do like a like a spin attack so eventually we will be able to reliably spin to win Although, I gotta say, those level 6 attacks are really hard to hit with, and are just super unreliable. Why is she doing so many backflips like that? She thinks she's the Shadow Master from Double Dragon 2. These enemies are super annoying. Oh yeah, and every now and then... Um, if you're equipped with the gloves, like, you can just, like, throw an enemy. You will grab them and throw them, and it does nothing. It does zero damage. So, no reason for it, but it looks funny. <clears throat> I wonder whose magic will work. It's Undyne. No, it's Gnome's magic! Now, I think this one you actually have to use Earth Slide, and maybe I can show you that. But let's try Gem Missile first. Yeah, so you can't just use any of Gnome's magic. You have to specifically use Earth Slide. Because um, when you do this, the Earth will shift. Heard the sound of falling rock somewhere. Okay, that sort of makes sense then. Why you have to do that. But it's weird that it doesn't tell you beforehand. Yeah, so now I think I can just go this way. Could I not go this way before? I actually don't really know. over here. Yeah, okay, so that's where I came from. Nemesis Owl wasn't just unconscious. Nemesis Owl exploded into a bunch of feathers. Yeah, and that, like, rock throw attack that the Pebbler does is pretty uncool. I see that she's upside down, like, she's a little bit busy, but I'm gonna have her heal Gecko. Ooh, and I just negated some damage, too. Dang, that cured for, like, 300. Throw him to know him. Yeah, that's a phrase, Nicholas D. Are you going to play Dragon's Dogma, too? I don't know what that is, Hellblade. Is it good? A solid snake. Let's hit him with the wind. Dang, that did 165. No need to analyze here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh yeah, and this guy can like eat your characters. Great Viper fears Silphid. Gecko's pigmized. Fear this, Great Viper. And like, while I'm at it, maybe, maybe I'll heal my, my pigmized character. But I'm just gonna spam the air blasts on this guy. Probably already out of MP here. And let's see, like, let's try this and see if it actually does anything. I'm, like, really low on HP here. So I should do this, too, while I'm at it. Whoa. Did you... What was going on with uh, Molly M's HP there? It looked like she died for a second, or was that one HP? That missed? Yeah, this is not working out well. don't have enough for an air blast. Let's use a fairy walnut, which recovers MP on my friend's sports. It recovers 50 MP. There you see it. Where's this snake? Boom, 62, not a bad hit. But this will do more. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Maliam died. They both died. Um, I think what you can do here is, like, if a character is showing that they're at zero HP, but they're not dead yet, I think you can use... Yeah, you can use a royal jelly on them, and it will just give them all their HP back. Hit him with the thunder. It is hard to hit this guy. Did Thunderbolt not activate? Dude, do it. I know you can cast magic when you're little. Wishes here. And then hit this guy with the Thundor. Why are you not doing it? Recovery failed. What does that mean? I've never seen that before. Sports sees the Reaper? No, Sports is pretty alive right now. Oops, I think I uh, zoomed in and out real quick using this button. Dying is cool, says Rogue Effect. Well, I beat up a snake and got something for it. Oh, and there's a path back here. Nicholas D, what did you say about beating a snake really hard? Oh, if you do it, it becomes liquid snake. I see. Ah, I slashed this furry. This is the legendary white dragon? Yes, this dragon is 4,000 years old and has, has emerged victorious through multiple wars and is really good at pinball. Its parents must have been beaten by that serpent. How, how do you just assume that? When are we getting gaseous snake? That's a good question, Archon Gamer. Jordy Pants, you behave. It won't make it if we leave it here. Why are we just making all these assumptions? It seems to be doing fine. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. Yeah, that guy's pretty strong. That's making some weird noises. What's up, Raul B? He'll only slow you down. So I'll raise him. King Truffle, quiet you! I love the king in this game. He's just like, I will do what I want. You shut up! I knocked over a pair of sunglasses when I did that. You three get going. I'll take good care of him. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? I used to say Flamy when I was younger, but it's clearly spelled Flammy. Wow, I love this game, says Sulian. Hey, welcome. Thanks for showing up. Ugh, not bad. It doesn't let you... It doesn't let you change... Or it doesn't let you choose. It, it shows you two dialogue options, like as if you get to pick which one you want to say there. And then the king is like, hang on, I sound like an idiot. You'd agree with me whether you liked the name or not. So let's call him Flammy and be done with it. Yes, pronounce it French. Soulian. Soulian? Soulian? I'm trying. Cannon travel is open again in the forest to the south. You'll find the Fire Palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. Flammy. Flammy. Do you parle any Francais? <clears throat> anyway, let's all stay at the inn here. One night is 50 bucks, do you want to say? I do. Let's sleep, everybody. Bunch of people in the chat right now, and I appreciate y'all. Oh boy, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Uh, let's play for a little bit longer. 
Let's save the game. And at least make it to Kakara. Which Ganon do you think is the strongest? Says Prof Bentley. Rich Ganon. He was like the NFL MVP in like 2001. Aside from him though, the one from Smash Bros. Because he technically doesn't have limited HP. Um, man, I don't know. Zelda 1 Ganon? It's kind of a chump. Um, Zelda 2 Ganon is dead until you get a game over. Link to the Past Ganon? Not too hard, but he can knock you off a platform. Ocarina of Time Ganon is like when he gets really scary because he can play an organ. What was I supposed to do? Clammy's doing fine. I guess I have to go to the cannon travel guy, right? Our ancestors once rode flying animals. White dragons, I believe. Uh, only the white ones? There really was one. Great answers, KJ. Thanks, Jordy Pants. Is there any level glitches in this game? Yeah, Freshy 90, so there's like a weird experience glitch that you can do where like, depending on the setup, like if you use a magic attack against an enemy who is uh, protected by a magic barrier and it bounces back to one of your allies and kills them, you can get a ton of experience for it. Anyway, I just upgraded my weapon, and I my sword is now called Herald, so obviously is very powerful. I've never met a Herald that wasn't insanely powerful, Isaac Hammers. But lore-wise, LT LTTP Ganon basically had Hyrule under his thumb. Yeah, and Zelda 1 Ganon, lore-wise, like, destroyed Hyrule. Isn't that correct? And he's also technically the Ganon from Ocarina of Time? I don't know. It doesn't make too much sense. But it doesn't have to. Herald sounds British. Yes. The Sword of Mana, or as the British call it, Herald. Yeah, but Ganon from Wind Waker also loses to children. Brain Lizard? That's a good point. I lose to children sometimes, oh my gosh. I have an eight-year-old who like, sometimes I just can't handle him. Let's, oh wait, those guys don't die to anything in particular, right? Let's uh, let's like ice this dude. Oh, he used sleep flower against me, which puts you to sleep. I thought it was always the same Ganon, but Link and Zelda are being reincarnated over and over. God, that's gotta be annoying. Ooh, there's a cannon travel guy right here. Slap me 50 GP and I'll send you flying. Let's go to Kakara. That's where we're supposed to go right now, right? All the way to the desert, huh? Well, let's try it. Just slide into the cannon. Yeah, I like this guy's confidence. This'll be fine. Everything's fine. It'll be fine. I am getting shot out of a cannon, I should say. What is the most powerful Ganon? What do you think? This time I'll get to land in sand, so it'll be it'll be painless. Chunk. Pfep, pfep. I love how they spelled that. Ick, covered with sand. Like, how would you spell the sound of you trying to spit out sand from your mouth? Patui? What a barren place. Oh, my neck is killing me right now. Let's find a town before we shrivel up. Mm, I think there's like a pattern to it here, but... <clears throat> it might just be like, go up left, up left? Dehydrated Ganon from Tears of the Kingdom. Yo, look at this crazy scorp! Oh my gosh, Sand Stinger gets whacked and survived. They got Pebblers here too. Wait a second, I want the treasure. Candy won't fit. Pebbler gets whacked. 
It was candy! Heck yeah. This soundtrack is pretty funky, I gotta say. In, like, an intense and uncomfortable way. I think it's a number of screen changes, then you get saved. Okay, thanks, Hellblade. I trust you. You seem to know what you're talking about. Yo, Gecko and Molly M reached level 20. Pumpkins? He technically is the Ganon from Ocarina of Time. The difference is he actually won against that Link. He was actually in genuine disbelief that he lost. Interesting. Talking about the Zelda timeline. And our friend Gandendorf. Ah. Man, I should play Secret of Mana again too, says the Archon Gamer. Yeah, this game's fun. I'm having a good time with it. Earth slide level three. Well, I'm gonna slide on out of here before you hit me with that. Ocarina of Time splits the timeline three ways. Oh my gosh. So it's like one where Link wins, which you see in the game. One where Zelda loses, which becomes uh, the timeline of Zelda one. And then one where Epona wins, is that it? Simon Diamond, what's going on? Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Exactly, thank you, okay. Another day, another dollar, a quarter after taxes. Simon Diamond, I get it. Although, to be fair, it's probably not taxes that are taking as much of your money as your employers are. More like axes, because it reached level two. Dude, where do I go? What's your favorite Rockman X game? My favorite Mega Man... <clears throat> oh man, I mean, I, I do love Mega Man X. I think Mega Man X 3 is underrated. Throat's so dry, can't go on, we're finished. Look, over there, hurry! Ow! This weird sand spider got me. A ship, let's go! What a lifesaver. You, what are you doing out here? Only Imperial spies could be so stupid. Give us a break, how rude. What are you doing? Sir, picked up some spies. They're clearly spies, because I'm guessing. Hold on, maybe they just got lost. We'd almost given up. I like you, so I'm going to help you, says Commander. You'll work the engines, the shrimp will make the meals, and she comes with me. You heard him move. Oh. Okay. Get to work! That's technically what I'm doing. Sergo is this character's name. Bar she blows, eh? You're new, huh? I'm Sergo, pirate and scourge of the eight seas. At least I used to be. The oceans have grown too stormy. I stowed away because I miss my ship so much. Wonder if the oceans will ever be safe again. I, does that character ever, like, become something after this? You want to escape with your friends? Leave it to me. Go talk to those guards by the stairs. You mean these guards by the stairs? You, get back to your post. Fire, fire! What? Out of my way. One of them went to run away and didn't stop me from escaping. That's kind of funny. Man, you're just like me getting lost playing Skyward Sword. 
I am. I'm just like you. Don't let that guy see you for sure. Is this a door? It is. Stop lollygagging. Pant, pant, phew. Just like Paradise in here, eh, buddy? He ate up all the ship's food. Is that your friend? Show him out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Couldn't burp. Eat another thing. Great. Let's leave Molly M behind. No, I would never. Oh, there's a door right here. I actually didn't see that that was a door. Got lucky. Oh, let's go this way first. Hey, man. You doing okay? All's clear. Make a log entry? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I will save the game here, and I'm gonna call it a stream for now. Because I'm getting super hungry, and my neck is killing me. But, um, I'll come back with this maybe later tonight. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. Depends how I feel. But for now, I'm signing off. You go have an excellent evening and weekend. But, uh, hey, in the meantime, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great, and I hope to see you soon.